In quantitative research, we use numbers to make claims, and those claims are made about reality that we think is objective. In qualitative research, however, we have lots more flexibility and, and freedom on how to think about what is reality and, and what is research about. It is useful to understand two different categories of qualitative research and two different sets of assumptions. The realist assumption and the interpretive assumptions. There are of course other classifications of qualitative research, but understanding these two is the most fundamental. So when you have an article that says that there is an, uh, that it does a case study that uses interpretive approach that gives voice to the people experiencing the events and uh, gives native point of view and uses that as part of the unit of analysis. So what does that actually mean? And uh, why would one want to do that? Let's take a look at an example. So uh, this is from a book about grounded theory, which is one way of doing qualitative analysis and qualitative research. And we have here a description of a case of Caitlin, who uh, was diagnosed at age of 57 with a life-threatening cancer. And we could study this case using uh, multiple different ways. We could study, for example, what are the facts of the case? What is the age of the person? Uh, is she uh, in some kind of risk group? How is the disease progressing? And things that are independent of how the person experiences. Or we could study how a person experiences the fact that they might, that she might die soon. And these experiences and how you perceive the reality, how you attribute meaning to this diagnostic varies from one person to another. So if we apply an interpretive lens, it means that we don't study what is real based on how the person describes, but we study how the person experiences and interprets the reality. And this is useful because people don't act simply based on, on what is happening independently of them in an objective reality. Instead, they act on based on how they interpret the reality. There, are, there is some philosophical debate on whether a reality is something that is unique to each individual based on how we experience things around us or whether reality is shared and it's the same for everybody. I'm not going to go into that debate in this video. So when we compare the uh, realist approach and interpretive approach, the interpretive approach puts a lot more emphasis on the person who is telling us the story or providing us the data. Let's compare the approaches. I'm using this table from the book by Saunders, Lewis and Thornhill and they present four different approaches for, mani for philosophies in management research. I'm gonna only focus on two, but it's useful to understand what these two others refer to. So positivism is uh, a view on science that we can only study things that we can observe and then we build theories and we can use logic to derive consequences from those theories. That's a fairly rigid view and it's currently considered outdated because it's not a good match for what social scientists do. So it's mostly about natural sciences where this was uh, done, but it has fallen out of fashion a few decades ago. Nevertheless, the word positivism is often confused with the word realism. And then pragmatism refers to uh, the view of science that the purpose of science is not to seek truth, but to seek things that are useful. So we don't really care uh, whether theories are, are true or not or correct or not. We only care about whether the theories are useful in the sense that we can make useful predictions using our theories. So you can have a theory that is incorrect, but that allows us to do useful predictions. For example, Newtonian mechanics is an approximation. It is not correct. Quantum mechanics uh, mechanics is much more correct, but Newton's mechanics is still a very useful thing as we know from everyday life. It's an approximation that is slightly incorrect, but it's very useful. I'm not going to talk about pragmatism either in this video. So let's compare realism 
and interpretation. The idea between the difference between these is, is how you perceive the, uh, the reality to be. So the, how you perceive the reality is uh, in, the, in the domain of ontology. So how, does, how do we think that, that reality is? And uh, realism thinks that reality is objective, it is shared by everybody. So we could simply, if we have an informant and that we interview, we could switch to a different informant. And if that person had experienced the same event as the first informant, we would get equally valid data. In interpretive research, we assume that reality is socially constructed. So that means that our reality is not only what happens around us, but it is also our interpretations of what happens around us. And uh, that is in some way more realistic way of viewing reality than realism. If we want to understand why certain things are failing organizations, we need to understand how, for example, people interpret the change in an organization and then how they act on those interpretations. Then we have the epistemological view. How do we generate knowledge? What is knowledge? And uh, the idea of realism is that we interview a person, we watch videos, we collect numbers, and, and those numbers are uh, objective facts. Or if they're not objective, we want to purify them from any biases that our informants may have. And we, we try to get to the facts that are independent of observation. So, so what exactly is the nature of the uh, cancer that the person had in the example? And, and if the person uh, says that, that she feels fairly positive about the cancer, that would be just their bias. We're not interested in that. Then in, in um, interpretive research, we're focusing on how a person perceives the situation, what kind of meaning the person gives to the cancer diagnosis. In the example, uh, she saw positive things as well coming out from the cancer diagno diagnostic, not only, or diagnosis, not only negative things. And uh, then uh, what kind of data we typically collect with these approaches. The realist approach quite often uses multiple case studies because we want to uh, produce something that is generalizable across different units. And to do that, we need to collect more than one unit. In interpretive research, we typically have much smaller numbers. So we can, uh, for example, study one event or one period of a company and then see how people interpreted the events during that period. So the focus between these is, is um, like uh, if we consider courtroom analogy. In the courtroom, a realist would like to know what really happened and if the, uh, the witness tells us something, then we need to uh, purify the witness's biases from the witness's description. In the interpretive uh, approach, we are interested in studying what are the biases of the witness. So what, what the witness actually tells us, how the witness perceives the situation, is much more important than what the situation actually is, independently of the witness's perceptions. So this is the difference is basically, are we interested about the person or about the events that the person tells us about? Of course, this is not as clear cut. And, and sometimes there are approaches that, that mix elements from, of, from both of these, but quite often you can uh, position a qualitative study within one of these two categories. And there are more than these two, but these two are the most useful to understand when you are beginning your career as a qualitative researcher.